right, good morning guys. We're out here at um, Tim's uh, 29 foot World Cat and we are fishing the El Chipo tournament today. Um, it's a little sporty out here today, it's windy. Um, hopefully where we're going, it's not gonna be so bad. Uh, it's probably gonna be blowing about between five to 10 knots, but it's the wave height and wave duration that we're kind of uh, concerned about. But I think in this boat, um, we'll be pretty stable. We just it'll probably be just a tad bit snotty out there. So Anyway, we're gonna head out here soon as soon as they get here um, load up and Try to get, get a big one um, The prize is a yellowfin bay boat, I think um, But just have to stay positive. So we're gonna head out here in a bit Wish us luck What was it that when you to, to drive I'll say I'll say seven. I think seven, seven and a half. What do I I'm going six. I'm going high fives, low six. Oh lord, just play the fucking thing. <laughs> The 
The suspense is killing me. He's <laughs> <laughs> a uh, five. Uh, five pound, ten ounce. Hold on. Watch this. All right. He was in the sixes and in the fives and then five. I'm going to call him five, ten, five, eleven. Right. Not quite six. You want to hold it up? Or you... I like fish. That's a good one. <laughs> That's a pretty fish. Oh yeah. Nice. That's a good one. You'll take that. Yeah, probably something small. Oh, a little sheepy. You got a sheep? Yeah. Wait. All right. What well, got to be four, 12? Pretty sure 12, yeah. That might be a 12-er. It might be. It looks close. I mean, real close. Twelve to the uh twelve to the uh oh yeah. For sure. Uh, he don't he's twelve and a half. Um, Heck yeah, now we're rolling. Good job. Yeah. Keep them for the box. Heck yeah. yeah. Good one. I can tell, man, when they hit, I knew it. Alright, guys, so we are um, headed to our last spot of the day. Um, we have three sheep's head in the box, one really good one, probably over five pounds um, that Chad caught. Um, so we're just going to, we'll probably just, we'll probably go to the weigh-in and throw it on the scale and see what happens. You never know. I mean, what if people aren't catching fish or whatever? You just never know. So we're, we're toying with the idea of just going ahead and throw it on the scale and then if it does good, it does good. But anyway, make one last stop. We uh, caught some good ones and we caught a bunch of grunts and uh, sea bass. Um, they're just not biting for us today. so. We'll see you back at the dock. All right, we're gonna weigh in this uh, sheep's head that Chad caught right around a little over five pounds, so get this box. After looking at the leaderboard, we didn't weigh our fish in, but we're gonna get a official weight when we get back to the the lift. <laughs> yeah, and uh, we'll just get our own little personal weight. But uh, the leaderboard's around nine, and the 15th weight was around six something. So we're not even in there. We're not even in the running. So we're gonna head back, get cleaned up, and get this show over with. All right, so we'll see you back at the uh, marina. Alright guys, so that was uh, the El Cheapo. Um, like I said, we didn't go to the weigh-in. Well, we went, but we didn't actually officially weigh in the fish because uh, once we got there, it was a long line, and then we saw the leaderboard, and I mean, we saw that our five-pound fish wasn't even going to really place in the top 15, which I think that's the limit for where they were giving out prizes was 15. Um, after looking this morning, we probably would have been in like 54th, 55th, something like that, but not worth waiting the line. Plus we had to get back, clean the boat, clean the fish, and uh, 
we did all that pretty quick so I didn't get any footage uh, once we got back to the marina the gnats were killing us um, I don't know there was no wind or anything so anyway that's it I appreciate you watching that was uh, Tim's World Cat 295 um, great boat with the trolling motor for bottom fishing um, as you can see here we're getting smoke all cleaned up we just got her back from the dealership uh, she had some minor issues with electrical and stuff like that but it's all fixed up now ready to pull the uh, world cat 325 um, hopefully we'll get back out there for some wahoo and we got kingfish coming up um, and the mahi run up here in northeast florida so stay tuned um, we'll have some good content hopefully see you later